Welcome back guys, today we're going to take a look at 2019 horror film called Yummy. The starting scene shows us a dark monetary where the doctors slide a patient in the incinerator, but it's revealed that the person still has some life left in her. As they leave her in the furnace, the cleaner at the place senses something. He nears a block to hear some sounds inside. He opens it to save the patient, when suddenly a blistered hand emerges from the incinerator and grabs the guy's face and burns it. After the introduction, the movie now shifts to the road where a girl is traveling with her mother and boyfriend in a car. On the side, some guys in a bus start to notice the girl's hefty breasts. Gradually, all of them gather around the window and start harassing her due to her size. The girl uncomfortably covers them up and her boyfriend moves the car. During their journey, the girl's mother gets out to pee while inside the couple talks about the girl's breast reductions. Her boyfriend assures her she's just fine like she is, but the girl, Allison, insists she wants a smaller size. In the meantime, her mother arrives and they continue her journey, but they hit something on the way. Upon getting out, they see the carcass and try to kill the animal to end his misery, but a car runs it over and the blood splashes on Allison's boyfriend. He instantly throws up due to the blood. Nevertheless, they continue their journey to the clinic. Upon reaching the address, they find the facility pretty run down. The doctor greets them and takes them inside while assigning the task to the guy named Daniel. A lady doctor takes them inside where Michael gets another attack of hermophobia upon looking at the bloodied sheets. Allison's mother, Sylvia, mocks him for dropping out of the medical school due to the reason, whereas Allison tries to defend him. In the meantime, a doctor inspects a guy's reproductive part and states that he's recovering well. Moreover, we get to know he's a celebrity named William Mayer, disguised as Alfred. The doctor assures him that he shouldn't worry about that at all. On the other hand, the lady doctor guides the group to meet Dr. Kranswick. He greets them and another lady is introduced, named Oksana, who's here for tattoo removal. Dr. Kranswick leads them to another room where he starts to feel Allison's breasts and gropes them from every angle. As the awkwardness rises, Allison states that she wants a B-size and a proper reduction. Later, Allison and Michael talk outside where Daniel joins them and gets astounded by knowing Allison's purpose here. He starts admiring her body and lashes comments to mock Michael. Meanwhile, he takes out a ring from his pocket and puts it back inside. On the other hand, Sylvia is having her surgery and Allison is next on the list. Michael gets nervous as the doctors don't even consider her blood type or any other preliminary tests. His suspicion rises as he sees the surgeon drinking coffee in the OT. He raises the commotion in order to get his answers, but the doctors get him taken away by Daniel while Allison goes inside. As Michael accompanies Daniel, he gets to know that Daniel's a travel agent here, but the best part is the girls who feel all yummy after the procedures and they need consolation, and that's where his role comes in. In the meantime, Allison is taken to the OT where she couldn't find Dr. Kraswick and gets worried. The doctors are sure that they know what they're doing. On the other hand, Daniel takes Michael through the dim lit restricted areas of the hospital and gets him to wait outside. Meanwhile, he goes inside and looks for drugs. In the interim, Michael slides to another room where we find a naked woman strapped to the bed. It seems like she has difficulty breathing. To relieve her of her pain, Michael takes off the mask from her face, but horror strikes him dead in the face as a hideously bloody mouth is revealed underneath. The woman starts screeching violently and just then, Daniel comes in and guides Michael to run away as he himself didn't know about this. Afterwards, Michael runs to the OT and tries to stop Allison's procedure. Everyone gets irritated but Michael gets aggressive when suddenly a needle is injected into his hand. The serum sedates him and he's knocked out. Meanwhile, the CCTV shows us the zombie girl crawling down the hall. The next scene shows us Michael waking up strapped to a bed. The lady doctor comes in and Michael pleads to be released as he's totally calm now. The doctors order a nurse to let him free and just as he's released, he's returned back to the OT to stop the procedure. The staff and surgeon get frustrated and leave the theater and Allison gets annoyed by his reoccurring intrusions. Nevertheless, Michael makes their leave and as they get out, they witness everyone else escaping the area. The scene shows patients being taken out hurriedly while the staff tries to keep them calm. Suddenly, William appears in the crowd and states that he just saw a man eating a man. Nobody believes him when suddenly, screams and shrieks start to arise. That cause unrest and suddenly the doors get breached by the zombies. The situation gets worse than ever and stampede occurs as everyone runs down the stairs while zombies emerge from various areas. The scene now shifts to Allison who insists upon looking for her mother. The search for her takes them to a hall where a girl is escaping for her life. They move ahead to witness the horror where a zombie is feeding on a pregnant woman's internals. Michael almost gets passed out but Allison urges him to stay conscious. Menacingly, the zombies crawl across the floor to follow them into another room, where Michael tries to push him away by a stick but accidentally electrocutes himself. Everything now comes down to Allison who manages to push a cabinet into the bloodthirsty zombie and pins him to a wall. Suddenly upon turning, she finds her boyfriend bleeding out from the head while being unconscious. Amidst the tears, Allison leaves him there and runs for her life. 
With the monster right on her tail, Allison bursts into an OT where the monster follows her and attacks the doctors. The situation escalates as more zombies burst into the room and rage hell on everyone. In the meantime, a patient's stomach starts to fill up with fat until it bursts and smudges the room with internals. The scenario now shifts to William, who runs into the kitchen and comes across Oksana, who's scared to death. William tries to comfort her, as she agrees to help keep his presence here confidential. The CCTV now shows Halls lingering with the half-dead, while Allison runs in the corridors to come across a patient with chemical skin peeling issue. Her face is burning as she pleads for help. Although terrified of the bone, Allison agrees to help and they run to the kitchen where William doesn't open the door. With no choice left, the woman runs away and Allison follows her to come across her mother resting in a room. But upon several slaps and tries, Sylvia doesn't wake up so Allison changes into normal clothes, grabs her bed, and drags it out into the hall. In the meantime, the camera shows us Daniel dazed off after taking the drugs. On the other hand, Allison comes across a grotesque, half-cut zombie feeding on its own gruesome internals. Suddenly, the monster spots them and starts chasing them. Allison runs away and breaks into Daniel's room. The zombie follows them and bites Sylvia's leg, but Daniel smashes his head into a pulp with a fire extinguisher. Back in the kitchen, Oksana expresses her desire to have intercourse before dying, and that makes her go down on William, but he's reluctant due to his recent penis enlargement surgery. Nevertheless, he agrees while taking off his bandages from the junior. The camera then shifts to Michael, who miraculously wakes up to find everything in a haze. The extensive blood loss makes his vision dizzy as he walks through an orgy of blood and gore all around the halls. In the interim, we see that William has finished and goes to wash himself up from the tap, but the boiling water burns his junior. He squirms in agony as Oksana suddenly comes with a gel. William tries to read the prescription on the tube in the light of a matchstick, when suddenly it gets dropped and William's wiener is aflame. He shrieks around hysterically as flames extend from his main point. Oksana returns with a fire extinguisher and douses his pee, pee but horrifically his wiener falls off into two. Burning in anger, William grabs a knife and goes outside where he is ravaged by the zombies. On the other hand, Michael strolls into a lab of specimens where the blood falls in one of the jars and Michael accidentally topples it over. The glass breaks and a zombie reptile crawls out. Michael gets scared and runs away into the hall where he meets Dr. Kraswick holding an axe and the lady doctor. He's saved while they prepare to escape. In the meantime, Daniel carries Sylvia and they come across a hall flooded with zombies, so they change their course and enter a room where the surgeon gives them refuge. He treats Sylvia's wounds while Daniel breaks the telephone while trying to call for help. In the meantime, Michael and the others wander across the hall where suddenly, Daniel knocks him out of the blue. He's taken inside where he wakes up to find Allison's face right in front of him. Both of them hug each other and now everyone comes to discuss Sylvia's degrading situation. She insists that she's fine, but the doctors indicate that she's turning. Therefore, Kraswick tries to kill her with an axe, but Sylvia spits blood on his face. The lady doctor, Janja, silently watches. The rest of them stop the doctor from the madness, and he finally states he needs to go to the pharmacy to devise a vaccine. Therefore, they move on and pass zombies on the way. The surgeon, named Yona, gets attacked by a zombie reptile on the stairs, and he kicks it downstairs where it falls on the zombies and their attention is diverted. But the group finally make it up to the pharmacy where Michael blocks a doorway, and they tie Sylvia to a chair. The doctors try to formulate and inject Sylvia, but her situation gets worse. They try several other things, but nothing works. Alas, Kronswick admits they were experimenting for an age stop on the patient, and somehow one contaminated patient escaped and caused all the trouble. As he's explaining, John just suddenly kills him with the axe and states that he was infected already. Afterwards, they try to devise another solution, but Sylvia bites a chunk off Yona's arm, and he proceeds to amputate himself in the chopper. In a gruesome turn of events, his arm is shredded to pieces. The focus shifts back to Sylvia, whose situation gets worse. With no choice left, Allison arrives forward and kills her own zombie mother. Tears flood her face after the grotesque killing, and instead of Michael, Daniel holds her close and comforts her. In the interim, zombies are on the verge to break in, and the group tries to escape, but the door is shut. To burst it open, Michael formulates an explosive, but Allison simply opens the door with a slide. They escape to the roof, whereas Michael gets attacked by the nude zombie girl. He straps the explosives on her body and impales her with the chair, and escapes out the roof. On the roof, everyone crosses the ledge to the other side, but Yona loses his balance and falls down dozens of feet to be a crumpled mess of flesh and broken bones. The rest of them continue in distress. Downstairs, as Janja takes off her dress, Daniel comes along and tells her that he's aware that she's the perpetrator of the experiment. She inquires about the bribe for confidentiality, but Daniel walks away to meet Allison, who's extremely traumatized. The guy holds her in his arms to console her, while Michael catches them in the act, but leaves the bee. Afterwards, they proceed to a reeking trash chute, and Michael offers to be the first one to go down. But he bursts vomit all over as his sinuses catches the stink. Nevertheless, he drops down and everyone follows. 
But before going, Daniel asks for his 50,000 from Janja in return for confidentiality. She agrees, and they go down the chute. Upon advancing, they come across another zombie who's hungrily waiting for Oksana. All of them gather around and kill the zombie while Oksana safely comes down. In the interim, Janja goes to a side room to find a zombie there and suddenly tricks Daniel to arrive there and uses the zombie to get him infected. Enraged and furious, he murders Janja and hides his wound. Soon they advance and Oksana climbs out of the basement out in the open where the security forces surround the facility. But instead of helping her, they rain bullets on her and gets known that they're removing every bit of contamination. With no choice left, the three of them look for another way and get chased by the zombies. Michael gets bitten by the reptile, but he smashes it to a pulp. Moving on, they escape in the sewers, which are also lined by zombies. As they find out about Michael's infection, he pulls out a ring for Allison, but she rudely rejects him by saying, in a sewer, and runs away after Daniel. Running on, they come across a manhole which Allison tries to open, but her fingers get crushed by a military vehicle driving over it. As she cries in pain, Daniel runs away and she apologizes to Michael for forcing them to come here. Ignoring her statements, Michael takes out his spectacle glasses to cut her fingers. In excruciating pain, Allison's fingers get amputated and they run off again. At the end, they finally find a safe manhole and Allison climbs out. Down in the tunnel, Daniel assures that he'll take care of Allison and moves out, leaving Michael as he's infected. Up on the ground, Daniel reassures Allison while Michael gets attacked by a zombified William. Struggling with him, he kills William with his own ribs and takes out his intestine to use it as a rope to climb out. But Daniel closes the lid before letting Michael know he's infected as well. Helpless and devastated, Michael fights with zombies while as Allison and Daniel escape away in the car. After escaping the premises, Allison asks Daniel to drive the car, but she realizes that he's infected too. She gets scared and asks him to leave at once, but he climbs over and starts to abuse her. He gropes on her breasts hungrily, but she plunges a screwdriver in his back and pushes him out. As he gets turned, Allison reverses the car into Daniel and smashes his body into a puddle of discarded flesh. On the other hand, Michael uses his explosives in the tunnel and all the sewers burst up around the city. As Allison drives across the road, zombies start climbing from the manholes and so do Michael. But as he staggers on the road, Allison doesn't realize that it's her boyfriend and accelerates the car to hit him dead. But just as realization strikes her, she loses her control as well and crashes the car into a tree. With such gruesome deaths, the movie finally comes to an end. Drop a comment below letting me know how you found the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys!